What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have some leaked information on some possible upcoming Elite figures. Guys, we have Elite 68 and the new SummerSlam figures coming in late 2018 that will, you know, be around the SummerSlam time and uh, looking like some pretty epic sets, guys. Here you go. This is a tweet that I want you guys to look at. This says, you know, according to Walmart's, you know, barcode system and all that good stuff, here is the rumored lineup. We're going to run through what probably what the figures are going to look like, but here you go on the screen. You can see I did get this from my boy, WWE Stage Creators Instagram story. He did post this and I don't know who the tweet Twitter handle is. I think it's just somebody random on Twitter. But anyways, guys, you can see here Elite 68. Apparently, we are going to be getting Bobby Lashley. He is the first one in the set. We've seen the render from San Diego Comic-Con. I believe we've seen the render a couple times displayed here and there. We have not seen a full figure produced, but we can pretty much assume what this is going to look like. I'm sure it'll be his debut attire or his return attire, you know, after WrestleMania where he came back with the black, red, and white. I'm pretty sure that it will be the attire that we're getting. Pretty solid head scan. Uh, they may or may not include the headband. I feel like the headband would be really easy to include. Um, so if the prototype image doesn't have the headband, then I'm sure we'll probably get the headband. Um, that'll probably be all we get. We'll probably get pointing hands like the ones that came with Kurt Angle. We'll probably get those, but obviously molded in the uh, darker skin tone that we can, uh, you know, do his entrance. I'm pretty, I mean, that would be, you know, the most logical interchangeable hands to come with. Next up, we have Mustafa Ali. I thought he was supposed to be a part of Elite 69, but maybe he is a part of Elite 68. I'm fine with getting him earlier. You know, he's bigger on TV now. He's on the main roster. He's a bigger portion of SmackDown Live. So uh, just like Bobby Lashley, we have seen his prototype render. We've seen, you know, what his figure is going to look like. Hopefully they don't pull a Cedric Alexander and change that torso. I like this torso for Mustafa Ali. Um, I could go with a smaller one for him, but I don't know, man. I, I like the Cedric Alexander looking torso for him, and uh, I would appreciate if they didn't change that. They should change the arms, though. Those are a bit big, but this looks like it's going to be his WrestleMania 34 attire where he took on Cedric Alexander. So um, I, I think that this is going to be an epic figure. So him and Cedric are both getting the WrestleMania 34 attire. So that should be really cool to, you know, recreate some moments from those matches. He should come with his face mask, his Sub-Zero Sub attire, which is going to be so beautiful of a figure. Can't wait to see what the completed thing looks like. The next figure in the Elite 68, guys, is Tommaso Ciampa. And honestly, guys, they, they have a real good shot here at fixing all the problems that they had with the Hall of Champions figure. You know, they made the Hall of Champions figure really, really small. They need to definitely change up the parts choice for Tommaso. You know, they should give him a more detailed beard, um, a longer beard. They should give him a more ripped torso, bigger arms, bigger legs, his knee brace, NXT Championship, or just, I don't know, I think that they could do some cool things, maybe give him a crutch or something like that. I don't know what hands they would give him, but... Um, I, uh, I I can't wait for this. This was made by BEW Animations. This is a custom, but this is probably something similar or along the lines of what we're going to be getting from Mattel for Tommaso Ciampa for Elite 68. I hope it's you know going to be something like this, what BEW created over here. Obviously, BEW is going to be hard to replicate because he's such a magician, and he has that highly detailed beard. It's freaking hair, for God's sakes. Like it's realistic hair, and it's not just molded on there. They're not going to do that, but I do love this figure. I think that... They could easily, you know, fix up the Hall of Champions. The Hall of Champions, to me, wasn't really even a good figure. It's just really plain and just really small, and it's just not a very strong figure at all. So hopefully they fix that, and they give us all the details they've been giving us. If they keep it up like they have been with the last four or five sets, guys, I think that this set's going to be actually incredible, and I can't wait to see what Ciampa looks like. Next up, guys, we do have Elite 68 Miz, and honestly, this is the only attire that I can think of. I mean, he's still wearing this on TV today, and this is the only attire that I can think of. I mean, we've gotten his navy, we've had his white in the past that he's worn, we've had his black, we've had his black and silver, we've had literally every attire you can possibly imagine, um, besides this red attire, and I think the Iron Man-esque attire is probably the best one to, to do. I think that they could really nail this. Hopefully, we get a better looking head scan and they don't just rehash the same head scan with true effects on it you know that one that you, the one that's displayed here i don't want that same head scan they need to give us a new miz head scan um i think that the elite 37 miz is elite 37 in the white attire i think that's the best miz head scan i think a smiling one that's not you know i don't know looking very weird like this battle pack is um, they could easily do a, a really good Miz head scan with the True Effect stuff. I think that's going to be exciting to see how they do it with a newer, you know, the new technology with a new sculpt. 
um, that would be fantastic to see. And I uh, can't wait to see it. Hopefully that we do get this, and we'll probably get his stupid headband, his dumb glasses, and probably his entrance jacket from WrestleMania 34. I think that's the first time he wore this attire. So uh, the red Miz, the red and gold Miz is the one that I would like to see for Elite Series 68. Next up, guys, we have Elite Series 68 Ricochet, and this is actually kind of cool because on NXT TakeOver, if you guys follow me on Twitter, which if you aren't, you totally should. I'm live tweeting during shows all the time if you guys want to know my thoughts and everything, but here we have Ricochet. I actually tweeted to Bill McKenna, the guy that's, you know, sort of the head designer or the head guy over at Mattel for the WWE action figures. I tweeted him, where the hell is our Elite Ricochet? And I guess he took that to heart and he, and he went ahead and pumped it out sooner Put it in Elite Series 68. That's not true, but maybe he saw that tweet. Maybe he didn't, but uh, Ricochet right here. This was made by the NWF, my boy, and uh, he is looking great. I love this Ricochet. This is obviously from NXT TakeOver War Games, and I don't think it would be War Games attire. I would hope that it would be probably the TakeOver New Orleans where he took on Adam Cole. I think that's the attire, or uh, in the all-white. That would be the one that I would want to see. I love God. I love that white attire, that white and sort of silver attire would be absolutely beautiful. With the North American Championship would be even better to see. Maybe an entrance hoodie or jacket or, I don't know. I just really want them to nail this ricochet. I know they will. Uh, they need to give him the ripped up torso, obviously. The Finn Balor torso is what he needs. And I don't know, man. It's going to be really cool to see what this figure looks like. I cannot wait. This is definitely a figure that is going to be um, anticipated for figure of the year if they do it right. Can't wait to see what Ricochet looks like, but hopefully this rumored Elite 68 is true. The last figure in the set, guys, is Dean Ambrose, and I think that uh, everybody will agree that if they make a Dean Ambrose, it needs to be the updated Dean Ambrose. Obviously, if the rumors about him leaving are true, I don't know if they're going to make this figure. Maybe it's just, you know, I, I just highly doubt that. If they're going to, if he's going to be leaving, they usually pull guys from shelves and pull guys from sets and move people around. So I wouldn't be surprised if we ended up losing this figure, if the Dean Ambrose stuff is true. If it's not just, you know, a storyline or something like that, then maybe we will continue to see him. You know, maybe it's going to be a part of WrestleMania storyline or something like that. But this is made by Lesnar Time on Instagram. Absolutely amazing custom Dean Ambrose. Looks perfect. I think that if Mattel gave us this exact figure, I would be okay with it. Um, I like the molds they chose here. He even has the wallet. Uh, chain going there, a great head scan, great return to society t-shirt, Intercontinental title. Um, it doesn't have to come with the Intercontinental, Intercontinental Championship because, you know, it, it took him a little bit to win that before, you know, but I, I think that, you know, this return to society, this head scan and everything would be beautiful for a Dean Ambrose figure, and I think that this would be perfect for Elite 68. So hopefully this is what they choose if we do indeed get a Elite 68 Dean Ambrose. Next up, guys, we're moving on to the rumored SummerSlam 2019 Heritage Elite. You know, these are the figures like the Dean Ambrose, the Seth Rollins, the Edge, and the Matt Hardy that we got last year. This is what these are. And first, we have 2000 SummerSlam Undertaker right here. We did see this originally at the, at the Mattel store or the Mattel facility, whatever that was, earlier on. And this was rumored to be Elite Series 68 Undertaker, but maybe they have possibly moved it to the SummerSlam Elite set. And I would be fine with this. You know, I didn't really care for it in the Elite 68 series. I think that for the SummerSlam series, it would play perfectly. Um, if we're going to get guys like Ricochet and Ciampa and Ali and Lashley in the regular Elite line, then I am fine with pushing our 25th Undertaker Elite to the SummerSlam line. So I'm, I'm completely okay with this. I do love Undertaker, and I love that we're getting this figure, but moving it to a different set is no biggie at all, and I like this figure a lot. I was looking forward to this figure, so this is awesome. So hopefully this is true, and he won't be in the main line, and we can get some newer guys into the main line, and he can move into the SummerSlam 2019 line. Next up, guys, we do have a Jinder Mahal from SummerSlam 2017, and I honestly can't even remember if he was in the WWE Championship match at SummerSlam 2017. It doesn't seem like he was, but maybe he was. Maybe I'm just having a brain fart. But uh, this was made by Angel, uh, G Natty's customizer, and I do like the yellow. I like the yellow a lot more than the gray. It's a lot more bright. It's just a lot more, you know, saturated. It's just a better looking figure because of the brighter colors. So, you know, uh, it should be a lot better elite. It should be longer hair as well. 
than the one that came with the SmackDown Live main event ring. So this should be pretty epic. I can't wait to see, you know, what this thing looks like. But this is pretty much what the figure will look like if it is based off of SummerSlam 2017. So this is Jinder Mahal, and we're moving on to our third figure in the SummerSlam set. And that third figure in the set, guys, is King Mabel from 1995 SummerSlam. Is it Diesel that he fought? or uh, It's Diesel, I do believe, that he fought at the 1995 SummerSlam. But anyways, guys, this figure looks great. I don't know how good the articulation is going to be, you know, with Yokozuna and different guys like that that were pretty big figures. Um, they're pretty hard to pose, but uh, I can't wait to see this figure. I think that they're going to knock it out of the park, much like the rest of the figures they usually do. But King Mabel looking great here. I know my boy Christian from Unstable 1047 is really excited about this figure. And I'm not as excited as he is, but it is pretty cool to see that we're getting a King Mabel from 1995 SummerSlam. Should be really good stuff to see. And uh, yeah, that is the third figure in the set. And we're moving on to our final figure in the rumored SummerSlam 2019 Heritage Elite Series. And the last figure in the SummerSlam 2019 Heritage Elite Series, guys, is Braun Strowman from SummerSlam 2018. Why the hell are we getting another Braun Strowman when all of his figures are the exact same? It does look like his pants are going to be a bit darker. Maybe a black would look pretty good. Um, this is, however, from the match where he destroyed Kevin Owens and buried my boy Kevin Owens. So I am not a fan of this figure. I hated that match. I thought that they made Kevin Owens look terrible. Um, even if they were writing him off for injury, I, I don't care, man. He, he looked terrible in this matchup. And uh, I guess what they're going to do is give us black pants, maybe a new head scan, and then uh, the Money in the Bank briefcase is what I would guess, a updated Money in the Bank briefcase so that we can finally add that to our collections. That's probably the only reason they're giving this to us. But hopefully, if we're getting this, maybe they'll give him some Timberlands, maybe they'll give him some black pants, and give us that Money in the Bank briefcase. At least it would be a little bit different than the rest of the figures. But uh, that pretty much does it for all of Rumored Elite Series 68 and Rumored SummerSlam 2019 Heritage Elite Series, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I would love to know your thoughts on all the figures rumored here today. What do you think of Elite Series 68 and what do you think of the new SummerSlam Elites? Please let me know down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.